Jeez, that's bright. G'day guys, Fish and Shay here today. I am currently down on campsite near the Pyman River. And um, got, a, got a nice sleep um, when it finally got dark. It gets dark so much later than what it does on like the east coast here. Like I think it was like 9.45 and I could still see outside. And I'm like, I want to go to sleep. But um, yeah, so anyway, we're going to be fishing the Pyman River today. I think it's day four or five. Four, four. I, I can just keep up. I can just keep up on tracker days. Um, day number four, I'm going to be fishing the Pine River and hopefully getting some trout and I need to get that light out of my eyes because that's bright. So I'll see you guys when we're on the river. I am awake. It's no stop. So I'm on it now. I've drove up river for about 10 kilometers. And I think I probably saw two banks that were different. Like they had a little creek running into them. But there was a couple as well with big, big rock walls. But like, it's just a deep river. Like I'm right up in the bank now. And I'm in 7.1 meters. So um, I I'm not even gonna attempt to put the thingy on. So for you guys that watch the channel, you know I usually don't fish deep that much. I usually try and avoid it. I usually try and find for us running water, which I will find later on in the day. But it's pretty much all deep. So try to pick up a plastic and see if I can't make something happen. Ew. I'd like to take a moment to thank the following brands for sponsoring this video. These guys help me out with gear and looking after my boat, so make sure to get in and support these guys so they can continue to support me to make Fish and Australia videos like this one. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Well guys, after fishing for about um, five minutes, I've already been snagged and um, lost one jig out and one plastic. I've casted into this tree hanging three times uh, two times let's see if i can it, let's see if i can actually get in or do it a third oh my i'm struggling i'm at home under the pump i'm struggling come on come on oh yeah oh yeah oh That was a hit. He's still down there, he still wants it. He must have felt the hook on the second time. Bugger. I am not sure where I'm going to go, but it is not happening on this bank. So I'm probably going to go up further and try and find some shallow moving water. Don't know if it's available, <laughs> but I'm going to try. Oh yeah, buddy. Whoa. Yeah. Well, as much as I don't want to admit to it, it is getting to me. It is beating me. I, um, I've had opportunities. I've had hits. And um, I just haven't made it happen. Um, 
there is two more rivers that sort of run off the side um, because this Arthur's River is more of a sea runner sort of system um, so you, I'm probably like a month or two late say like that's the same with Arthur's River but um I mean I'm driving past there I, I want to fish like Tulla and I could have gone all the way back around or you know I could have gone the scenic route and fish you know two huge name places that pull huge trout and just have a crack um so it's beating me at the moment and I really don't like it but um I do feel like I've learnt a fair bit with fishing plastics because if you watch my videos I very rarely fish plastics for trout but um I do feel like I'm learning in a sense so that's always good but I'm gonna have some some brekkie now because she is almost 10 what do we got we got we got some oat crisps honey and macadamia look it's getting a bit old considering I've had it four days in a row but guess what I still got a lot more days worth in there so <laughs> suck it up well guys shortly after taking this video i ended up actually going on packing up and calling it a day at the pyman river and then i got the ferry across and continued my way down to tulla um but uh wicked scenery and stuff the arthur's river and um pyman river like just amazing scenery like the fishing is just an extra like you're just so alone and there's just so much scenery to have a look at so here's some drone footage and let's get moving to Lake McIntosh favorite if not my favorite lakes in Tassie Lake McIntosh I don't know it's Lake McIntosh and Lake Rosebury they just I've never had a bad day on it I fished it like three times so yeah but um I don't know I've just never had a bad day on it I really enjoy how the style of fishing it's deep but it's not too deep so you can fish a deep ish diving hard body as well as plastics um, and I've never had it on a perfect day like today, um, so I would, I'd like some cloud cover, but that's not really going to fuss me um, too much. And it's just more this wind. I've never had it on a calm day where I can actually really go explore. So um, I'm going to just fish the bank I usually fish, and then after that, we're just going to piss off and go explore. So anyway, I'm going to drive, and I'll see you guys when we're there. Get him in. Oh. Ah. Why is there so many small fish? It's weird because, so I've had, I've, so this, I'm fishing like a big 100 millimeter paddle tail just to get heaps of attention because it's got a big, 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 <coughs> big paddle behind it. But I don't know, it's just, they're not, like I haven't seen anything that's committed to it. So I'm going to go to the same sort of greeny color, but in a smaller version. No. Little dial of bait junkie. 
and see if I can't just smallen it down, same colour, smaller lure, and try and make it work. I, I, I'm working them. I'm like, I can tell these fish haven't eaten all day. Like, oh well, they like I don't know that, but like, I'm pretty confident the fish wouldn't have eaten for most of the day because it's like pure sun. They just go into pure shutdown mode. That is horrible. Um, they just go into pure shutdown, and like later on in the day, the the sun will eventually drop and they're gonna be hungry. So, I believe the more and more I persist, the more I should get reward. But, let's see if I can't make anything happen with a smaller lure with the same color. Oh my God. I just saw that fish rise. Oh persistence, persistence, persistence. Oh, that is so good, that is so good. This fish has taken me all day and I've done it. I've nailed it down. I've found, I finally found what they were eating on. Oh, he, he came up to the surface. Oh, what a beautiful bow. He came up to the surface and I chucked my plastic in at him and he just whacked it. What a beautiful bow. Beautiful, beautiful bow. Um, on that Daiwa bait junkie that I, that I um, mentioned earlier, turn down the size, same, same green color that they were eating, but turn down the size and it just, it just worked. So, um, what a beautiful fish. I'm gonna get a photo with him. Um, I might, I will keep him though. I will keep him because um, when I came down west yesterday, um, Smithton, all IGA and everything was closed and there was nowhere for me to get any like um, half decent like meat or anything like that um, and I cooked my last burgers last night so I will keep him here to the plate tonight so let's get some photos and dispose of him Ew. well Wow, I literally started to record because I was about to make a little video annoyed because there's meant to be a creek there and there probably is, it's just I can't get into it. And that thing just followed me out of nowhere. That was huge, that was like three, four pound. Huge compared to what I, oh, yeah. Bugger. I'm getting so close. I know it was a very hot really day, good it was day. 38 degrees, but the heat must have definitely been going. getting to me because that did not look anywhere near three and a half pounds. But, okay Dylan, you just, you go. Well guys, what a tough day. That was up there with one of the roughest days I've had trout fishing. Like, I just, it was just purely not trout fishing conditions. Like, minimal wind, no cloud coverage, and 30 degree sun, like 25, like we're still, look. That bottom one there is water at 10th. 25.9. I don't know if that's right, but like, the water is very warm. Um, so, it was a challenging day, that's, that's, that's for sure. But, you know, that, that's what I was really looking forward to this trip, you know. I'm going to fish places when I want to fish them, not when they look good. You know, I'm fishing things out of, out of time that you should fish them. So I'm getting the challenge, you know, of fishing 
a river or a lake not at its best you know like yes i've got some places coming up that i know have been absolutely firing and i've been seeing photos non-stop and i'm super stoked to get there but i also really enjoy the challenge so anyway i'm gonna do what any other person does when they catch a fish uh, and keep it i'm gonna go home and cook it um and yeah we'll do a little catch and cook and um yeah so see you guys when we're cooking her up for just a minute on the bottom side so with the fish being mainly cooked through we get our nice crispy skin rainbow trout well after a little bit of salt and pepper beautiful looking fish Perfectly cooked. The skin sort of fell off, but I'll get a bite with the skin. It adds a nice little crunch to the fish, and as long as you make sure you get all of the scales off, mm. it's actually a nice, different texture to just your, yeah, you know, your fish, like you know, you just soft and your fish. So I'm gonna eat eat my meal and. Um, then, yeah, I'll probably relax for the rest of the day. But, um, yeah, big trout again tomorrow, hopefully. Hopefully, the weather's meant to be worse. It's meant to be sunny and windy. And, and, and I, don't, I don't know about the wind, but it's meant to be very warm, like warmer than, than today. So, hopefully, get out in the morning, make advantage of the cold temperatures in the morning. But anyway, I'm going to leave you guys to it and enjoy the rest of my day. I hope you guys have a good one. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Yo. To help with my fish, I'm going to indulge.